There's been a number of proposed models for postural control. We've gone from a single inverted pendulum model where we had two degrees of freedom. That was the winter model and ankle strategy to then a double inverted pendulum model where there was four degrees of freedom and that was the ankle and hip strategy and so forth. We've progressed to an ankle knee hip model. So there was five degrees of freedom, an ankle knee hip neck model and seven degrees of freedom as well as an upper body strategy. So each one building on the previous one. Nowadays, recent research has shown that posture control is complex and multivariate in nature. It involves multiple and varying degrees of freedom and recognizes the importance of the multi-segmented body. And so now we discuss postural control from the perspective of a multi-joint kinetic chain. And in particular, the important role of the trunk. However, often in the research, particularly on recovery or resolution, remediation of disordered movement, the trunk isn't very often considered. It's the most inertial segment of the body and has a critical role in stabilizing the head and thus the vestibular system. And as we'll talk about, has a, has a significant role in terms of postural orientation and postural equilibrium.